and they know better than Kabila. The Kabila you heard in the audio uh, is referring to um, Mr. Kwabana Bomfe. That was an interview there by Bernard Boache of Focus News. It's 28 minutes after 7. You're still on your community watch on Focus 94.3. <laughs> Well, it's on 94.3 Focus FM is 28 minutes after 7. Now, uh, if you're a fan of the NYDJ, remember the NYDJ of the 7-Eleven join here on Focus 94.3. And listen to this as innovative multimedia proudly presents uh, Shut the City Down official welcome party for the NYDJ. It's happening at the Icon Pub at Kumase. On the 27th of August 2010, 11 p.m. to you can hang around no longer. Artists include one Mike Entertainment Crew, that's Brothers, Ochiame Kwame, Morris DeVoy's Tattoo. Also coming will be Lazy Dog, Peter of Mentor 2, Kaboom, and a whole lot more. Where is a simple five Ghana cities for ladies and eight Ghana cities for guys. The party continues next day at Anita Hotel Kumase on the 28th for an official welcome pool party for freshmen and continued students of the KNGSG and K-Poly from 10 in the morning till you drop. You can have a chance to snap photographs uh, with uh, your favorite celebrities and have uh, an autographed CD from Morris DeVoice. DJs include Annie Dusty, of Angel, Slim DJ, and DJ Quest of Focus FM. Media sponsors Foresight TV, 2131 Banging Hip Hop Show, Focus FM, Angel FM, Garden City Radio, City uh, Capital Radio, um, Radio Link, Love FM, KFM, Boss FM, and www.kjtiamarket.com. I wonder what exactly uh, it is about. But um, it's happening on the 27th of August 2010 at the Icon Pub in Kumase. So you can be a part of that uh, rate again. It's a simple eight Ghana cities for singles and twelve Ghana cities for couple. Eight Ghana cities for singles and twelve Ghana cities for couple. So be there, meet the NYDJ who is back from wherever he went to. Be there and you tell you wherever uh, he went to. The race include free drinks of your choice. It's ninety four point three Focus FM on your community watch is thirty minutes after seven. Also reminding you of the Focus Radio Scoop, uh, whether or not you're dreaming to become one of the best presenters in Kumasi, as we have here at Focus 94.3, one of the best newscasters in Kumasi is right here. One, one of the best DJs in Kumasi is located right here. You can also be one of them. There's an opportunity for you to realize your long-awaited dream. Focus 943 is organizing the Focus Radio Scoop for the third successive time. It's going to be an excellent tuition from more resource people in the radio industry. Good course material to aid your studies, practical knowledge in the field of studies, high attachment placement, friendly atmosphere for your studies, recognized certificates and doors by highly placed people of the station and of course of the university. And you also get value for your money. That's what we promise. So pick your registration form at the front desk of Focus FM now or call the following numbers 0207134323. That's 0207134323 or 0275768646. As simple as that. 0275768646. And right now, as are the spaces of vacancy here is quite limited. You're still on 94.3 Focus FM. It's 32 minutes after 7 on your community watch. Douglas joins us here in the studio uh, with a segment we call the Lecture Theater. Today uh, is going to conclude. Um, the series on taxes and then uh, we start off another god willing next week but uh, we're talking about the stx deal which is supposed to be in court in spite of that the debate on the deal carried on in parliament today we're hoping to be able to play um to you an audio of what transpired in parliament as and what we get them the cbp's national youth organizer by name kwabana bumfe filed a reading court seeking interpretation of constitution on the Interna on international transactions. Uh, so a debate on that will carry on here on your community watch on Focus 943B. Government says it's not committed any irregular illegality 
in uh, the STX deal. I'm going to read the details as we have. You know, government says it has not committed any illegality in the handling of the STS Korea housing deal in respect of $1.5 billion loan needed to start um, the construction of 30,000 unit houses for the country's security services. Now, Deputy Information Minister Samuel Okuja Tua I said, and this is a report from CDFMOnline.com, that the most administration handling of the SDH deal has so far kept faith with all known laws of the country. This comment is coming in the wake of latest setback that has hit the much talked about deal. In the latest twist, the National Youth Organizer of the Convention People's Party is asking the Supreme Court to order Parliament to discontinue its action of laying loan agreement before the House and its approval until the determination of the case. Douglas, good evening. Good evening, Nata. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing very, very fine. Okay, a lot of debate in here. Anyway, um, let's uh, calm down with um, some lesson education in taxation. Carry on, Douglas. Okay. Good evening once again to our cherished listeners. And we are, we'll be concluding today on our topic, taxation. We said we'd be concluding yesterday, but we couldn't. Today we get all the time to conclude everything. So far... We've learned about a tax, we've learned about the qualities of a tax, principles of taxation, names of taxation, and we've learned also about the incidence of taxation. Today we will be, la- we'll be learning about the general kinds of tax, that is the direct and indirect tax, as well as we'll be going through some of the other sources of government revenue. Because if you can remember, we said government does not only use taxation to acquire its revenue though taxation is the major source it uses other sources so we'll be going through the other sources as well so today for our main topic which is the direct and the indirect taxes as well as the the other kinds of taxes under direct and indirect so as we said generally taxes are classified under the direct and indirect taxes due according to the incidence of taxation for direct taxes the incidence of taxation is on the person that the tax has been imposed upon and it cannot be transferred to any other person that's what a direct tax is and the examples of direct tax the examples of direct tax as we said yesterday are lump sum tax income taxes and the income taxes we went through personal and for income taxes, we went through personal income tax and corporate tax. We were able to learn that for personal income tax, these are the taxes that are charged on they are the taxes that are charged on our salaries and the rest. Even as we gain or even as we get any income, we get those taxes. So that's and we also went through yesterday that the income tax uh, the corporate tax or the income tax are such now in ghana was is 25 percent we also went through some of the advantages and disadvantages of direct taxes and for the advantages we were able to learn that the incidence of direct taxes are very certain this is there's no doubt about those who bear the burden or incidence since those who pay are known in advance no part of these taxes can be passed on for others to pay and also, we learned that one of the advantages is that there is ease of knowing their effects. If you impose a direct tax on an individual or on a group of people, they're able to know the effect. If it's too high, they'll start demonstrating. They'll start going on one page talking about this. So it's, it is very easy to know its effect. And the government can either adjust it upwards or downwards for direct taxes. And some of the disadvantages of direct taxes is that because there is ease of knowing their effects, people get to demonstrate. So, it's, so it becomes politically unpopular. Governments do not like you uh, do not like increasing direct taxes a lot. Corporate taxes and income taxes they don't like increasing because immediately they increase, people will know the effect and start demonstrating. So it's very very unpopular for governments to increase. Rather, they rather tend to increase the indirect taxes. And also, the points of collection are very, very ma- There are numerous points of collection. There are numerous points of collection. Thereby, the cost of administering all those direct taxes tend to be very high, making it at times inefficient. And example, we talked about the property tax, which right now the KMA and all those metropolitan assemblies have not been collecting because you can see that you're gonna have to hold on for me um douglas i'll get back to you in a short while but we do have online now um ben Efson. ben good evening thanks for your time thank you and good evening yeah we're looking at today uh whether or not president mo should run for 2012 Uh, what do you think do you think uh the president's performance 
is appealing, not in terms of governance.